Hey, thanks for the assist out there. And by the way, now that I've officially got the part again, it's not too late for me to pull some strings and get you a roll. I think I'm cool with sitting this one out. All right. Well, the door's open if I'm back for rank and file five. Although I heard R Truth pitch the producers on making it an office drama with him as a star, and it's under strong consideration, so we'll see. Oh, by the way, I left tickets for my real parents again. No luck, though. Still doing that, huh? Yep. And who knows? Maybe if they're not WWE fans, then they'll see me in the movie. Can't hurt. Yeah, I guess. Hey, before you go out for your match, you mind signing my script? <laughs> sure. May you always have a happy Thanksgiving. See? It is catching on. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Busy night for you, huh? I mean, if I were defending my title against an opponent like me, I might be just a little more focused on my match. Don't worry. I'm more than capable of helping a friend out and beating you in the same night. Well, while you've been off auditioning for movies and getting in fights with your old high school boy, I've been training for our match. You see, it's become a bit personal for me. You might even say I feel disrespected by your attitude. It's like everything's easy for you, huh? You show up in WWE and just waltz your way to the top? Well, that makes me angry. Didn't you do the exact same thing? <laughs> not even close. You're right, it's not the same. Because I didn't have a famous dad to help me get here. I've earned everything I have. There it is again, disrespect. And speaking of that, Beating me is not even on your list, as far as I can tell. I only put my goals on there, not things I expect to do. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, after tonight, you'll have a new goal to put on your list. Take back the Raw Women's Championship from Charlotte Flair. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Raw Women's Championship. Corey, what do you think of the champ's chances here tonight? I love them. I'm not like everybody else, Cole. It seems like everybody's ready to write the champ's demise, but not me. Well, by the look at the champ's face, I'd say she's more than ready to get this one underway. I don't know if she should be so confident, Cole. I mean, this might be the stiffest challenge of her reign right here. All hail the queen. Already a legend. First ever women's Hell in a Cell match against Sasha Banks. An amazing Iron Man match as well. Charlotte has accomplished it all in such a short period of time.
How about you, Byron? Do you think the challenger has a legitimate chance here tonight? Of course I do, Michael. That's the beauty of the WWE. Any superstar can beat any other superstar on any given night. Introducing the challenger from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. And introducing the champion, the Raw Women's Champion, Alexia Anderson. We're about to see which woman rules the landscape around here. We've heard coming into this match that Charlotte... We've heard coming into this match that Charlotte has felt disrespected by Red, especially considering Red did not put beating Charlotte on her list. Well, the list has proven to be a great motivational tool for Red and Trey, but now we've seen its potential downside. It's provoked Red's opponent tonight, who's already imposing enough without extra motivation. It's kind of similar to bulletin board material in sports, when a player talks trash and provides some extra incentive for their opponent. What would you know about that? Anyway, some of those points are good, but the time for talk is over. Let's find out who can back it up. Boom! Right to the jaw! You can pick up your teeth in section 112. Not what she was looking for. The, look at this. Nobody home for that one. Here she goes. Back in the ring now. She's got to remember to get back in the ring before the referee's 10 count. Right across the face. Anticipated that attack perfectly. Here she goes. Here we go. And Charlotte was able to get out of danger there. Lucky for her. from the top rope. One. Two. Harsh impact. The challenger is not in a great place. Three. She may have underestimated the opposition she'd face tonight. Corey, Charlotte has so many tools she can use to defeat her opponent, her athleticism, her power, her technical ability. What's the biggest strategy Charlotte needs to implement tonight? Well, Cole, when it comes to the queen, you can't get any better than her submission game. Her strategy tonight will most likely be to go after her opponent's knee to prepare for that figure four into the figure eight, one of the most lethal maneuvers from one of the most lethal female superstars. Charlotte turns it around. And she heads to the floor. Probably looking to take a few deep breaths. Think about her next move. Oh, look at it. Scoop Ooh. slam. Two. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Three. Charlotte sure dodged that one. She did indeed. Back suplex, no! Driven down. The challenger being out. The champion into the cover! A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. I can't believe what we're seeing here. Charlotte with a fantastic counter. 
attack. That's why she's the queen. Slammed with authority. She is just dominant right now. Yeah, I love the effort here, but she'd better hope she can sustain it. Oh, what a slam. But that's not all. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. One, two, three. Retains the title. This is where we can see where Charlotte fell short of her legacy. These ladies weren't world beaters in this one, but the match provided a few fireworks. She's taking care of business. Here is your winner and still the Raw Women's Champion, Alexia Anderson. Looking dominant at times in the victory. That'll knock Charlotte down a peg or two. I think so, too. And I'd say that match certainly lived... Can you believe they're all the way up to rank and file seven now? No, I can't. I thought they would have stopped making them after your performance. Wow. Didn't realize this was a roast. No, it's just that you definitely had some interesting priorities earlier in your career. First, it was the movie. Then, you were obsessed with getting your own action figure. It was on the list since day one. Yeah, which made you super jealous when I got one before you did. Remember this? Are you still a little bit jealous? No. Are you sure? I think you're exaggerating how I reacted. <laughs> Really? Because that's not how I remember it. Check it out! My first action figure! Pretty cool, right? Awesome. They really nailed the detail in your face. You didn't even really look at it. Yeah, well, you know what they say about action figures. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. Literally no one says that. Wait, are you jealous because you don't have one yet? No, I'm fine. Okay, look, I get it. This was more your thing, but it's just an action figure. It's more than that to me. Think of how you felt when I won a title in WWE before you did. It's like that, but ten times worse. Comparing titles to action figures might be a little extreme, but if it makes you feel any better, I'll wait and let you cross it off our list whenever you get one. No, it's fine. Cross it off. You earned it. I see you got your first action figure. We've had like 30 now, so it's kind of boring at this point. Where's yours? I think he didn't get one. <laughs> well, that's awkward. I think even like Tom Phillips got one. He doesn't really deserve it. <laughs> well, that's true. He's lucky even to be on the roster. <clears throat> Sorry, we got sidetracked with a private conversation that had absolutely nothing to do with you. But since apparently you don't have an action figure, we like to give you ours. Happy Rusev Day! Do you think he heard what we said? Who cares? He's a loser. <laughs> I heard he jerks and if I had an action figure of my own I'd team up with Red's action figure to kick your action figure stupid plastic butts or even better how about we take them down in real life huh oh yeah I guess we could do that
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And weighing in at 220 pounds, the ringer. Byron, are you at all surprised by the intensity level inside this arena right now? Not in the least bit, Michael. This is the one the WWE Universe has been looking forward to for quite some time. From where I sit, he certainly seems more focused than perhaps I've ever seen him. He's got one tall task ahead of him here, that's for sure. And the Raw Women's Champion, Alexia Anderson. Guys, this one promises to be absolutely amazing. But as they say, promises are made to be broken, Michael. Though in this case, I think we're safe. And Amy, she appears to be a little more relaxed than we usually see her. Are you guys seeing the same thing? Yeah, I'm seeing it too, Michael. Maybe it's because this is a non-title match. But I'll tell you, title match or not, you don't want to step into the ring with a laissez-faire attitude. Today is Rusev Day. And from Bulgaria, weighing in at 304 pounds, the Bulgarian brute, Rusev! Hey, Corey, I heard that they were going to add a uh, fifth bust to Mount Rushmore. I didn't hear that. I heard that same thing. Going to feature the Lion of Bulgaria, Rusev. Oh, my gosh. Saxton, I spoke to Rusev personally, and I asked him if I could borrow one of his keys to the city of Plovdiv to do commentary in place of you. Oh because it'd be gosh. just as much excitement. Corey, your mouth is hanging open. And from Moscow, the Ravishing Russian, Lana! I heard Booker T might have learned a little variation of his spinneroonie from Lana. I actually heard the same thing. I'm going to double check with my sources and get some verification on that. Well, well, tell me you guys didn't just say that. Lana, extremely beautiful, incredibly talented in the ring, has improved immensely during her time here in WWE. WWE superstars end up facing each other. The ring for a variety of reasons. Tonight, Ray and Trey are squaring up with Rusev and Lana because of, well, action figures. But from what I hear, Trey was throwing a tantrum because he didn't get an action figure and then was apparently offended when Rusev and Lana tried to graciously give him theirs. Hey, I can relate to Trey. I mean, you guys have them, but when am I going to get my own action figure? Never. Never, ever, because nobody wants that, Saxton. relentless now. She's a live wire when she's plugged in. Powerbomb 
planted. Incredible impact. It's Lana with the offense. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. Whoa, it's another reversal. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Boom, what a kick. Harsh impact. Really seems like Lana is in a world of hurt. I'm not used to seeing this. Into a real court lariat. What a combination. Nice right hand. He's going for the cover. One, I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. She just will not go away. Looking so great here, guys. Dropped like a bat. The cover. And this one's history. What a win. Here are your winners. The referee's three count ends this one. And there's your winner, folks. Without a doubt, he is among the most dominant guys on the WWE roster right now. Folks, we just saw one of the most exciting matches you'll see anywhere. In all seriousness, even though it wasn't as important to me, it was pretty cool when not long after that, you got your first action figure and crossed it off our list. But the fact we had different priorities is partly what made this work, because let's be honest, if we'd been competing for the same things, I'm not sure we could have been friends. You were just always so driven to be the best. Maybe, but it's not like I was only focused on individual goals. Like, what about when we went to SmackDown Live and I ended up teaming with someone who was a great influence and mentor to me? I'm talking about Mickey James, of course! Stand up and take a bow, Mickey, you deserve it. <laughs>